Today we're gonna make a tradition in my house, butter crunch, this unbelievably fantastic candy. You make a caramel, you spread it with chocolate, and then you coat it with nuts. This stuff, I'm going to warn you right now, is addictive, and it's not the holidays without it. So DIY, do-it-yourself food gifts. We're gonna start with butter crunch. Really, really simple and really amazing. Two sticks of butter, one cup of sugar, white granulated sugar, light corn syrup, not the dark stuff. And then two tablespoons of water. That's it, we're gonna put the pan on a medium high heat we're gonna let it cook and we're gonna watch it, particularly towards the end. It can burn like that, so you wanna keep a close eye. And then for the chocolate, really good semi-sweet chocolate. And then some pretty good semi-sweet chocolate. Now the trick with melting chocolate is you need to work over an extremely low heat. A lot of people do it in a double boiler and just let the steam of the water underneath it, but if you put it on a super low heat and watch it, you'll be fine. You do not want to burn chocolate. Not a pretty sight. And you're spreading the caramel. You're gonna work on a cookie sheet here. You want a good large cookie sheet or baking sheet, and then you can take a piece of foil that you butter or parchment paper that you grease as well, or you can use one of these rubber Silpat sheets. They work really well because the caramel won't stick. So you wanna get your cookie sheet ready, that's the first step. All right, let's get our caramel started on the stove. So I've got my butter, my sugar, light corn syrup and water in here, and I've got it over a pretty good medium-high heat. At this point, it can be that high because we want the butter to melt, we want everything to come together. What I'm gonna do, even at this early point, is put my uh, candy thermometer in here. Once we get above 200, 220, I'm gonna watch it like a hawk. This is a real act of patience in the beginning because you think it's gonna happen really quick and it kind of does, and then it, then it gets a little slower. Okay, that's, this is happening fast. I'm gonna turn the heat down. We are already at, two, we're almost at 220, so this is where we really need to watch it. I'm gonna put it to moderately low, and you can see I'm just using a soft spatula to keep the caramel moving around the pan, and I'm watching, I'm watching my thermometer really closely, because as soon as it hits 290 degrees, we gotta take it off right away, and we're gonna spread it right on the sheet here and let it cool. And this is where you do not answer the phone, do not text, do not send a message, nothing. This is where you have all eyes on your butter crunch. It's thick, and here we go. It's no perfect shape for a butter crunch. That's it. Now what you're gonna do is let this cool. This is where you sit down, you read a book, now you can text, now you can talk on the phone. So we'll come back in about 30, 45 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely hardened. All right, it's been close to an hour. Take a look at this. This is what it looks like. It's completely hardened and I took it off of the other pad and put it on a work surface here. It's very easy to work with once it hardens. You can see no fingerprints. This is just a beautiful piece of dried caramel. What I'm gonna do is spread a very thin layer of chocolate over the caramel. You don't have to worry about this because it's not like it hardens right away. I put a little in the middle and I just spread it out. And I just want it to be somewhat evenly distributed. But So we're just kind of painting this layer on. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with some of the toasted pistachios. Again, you could use walnuts, almonds, hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, whatever your favorite is. Again, I've used pistachio today because I want this butter crunch to be super special because I'm going to use it for my holiday gifts. Sometimes I use my fingers to just lightly press it down. So now this is going to chill and you can chill. We can all chill. It's all chill. And uh, we'll come back and check this and I'll show you when it's ready. So our butter crunch has been cooling, and you can see here that the chocolate is dry, it has a flat, not a glossy look anymore, but all you have to do is touch it with your finger. So as soon as it's dry, don't worry about any of the nuts falling off, we're just gonna carefully flip it over, and we're just gonna do the same thing we did last time. 
We're gonna spread the chocolate on, put the, some more of the toasted pistachio nuts on, and let it cool. So the butter crunch is cooled. It's now dry on both sides. You can see once again, the chocolate's completely dry. This is the fun part. You could get your kids to help you. You just crack it. You can cut it into big pieces or small pieces. You wanna keep this in a cool, dry spot. It can be refrigerated and it'll keep for a good 10 days, but I wouldn't do much more. But try not to eat it for 10 days, I dare you. So you can easily double this recipe, but I wouldn't go beyond doubling it. You just want to make two batches at a time. Make a lot, trust me, it's going to disappear. If you don't eat it, somebody else will. So this is just one way to do it yourself with a food gift at home and a way to say happy holidays from your kitchen, from your heart. Enjoy it. <laughs>